In Persistent Suite, you'll find the fastest patented PC repair technology on the market. To show you how it works, we're going to do some damage to a workstation. Then I'll simply reboot the end user machine so you can see how Persistent Suite enables the PC to heal itself in 30 seconds or less. We'll even time it for you. All right, so we'll first start off by modifying our PowerPoint executable. Toggle down to our PowerPoint executable, and we will rename that PowerPoint executable to a .wav file. Sure, we want to change it. And then we'll take the file right above it and we'll give it the PowerPoint name, just like so, perfect. And then we'll test uh, our PowerPoint just to see how uh, PowerPoint responds. So if I was a remote personnel or remote staff, I'd likely find my way uh, needing to use some type of VPN connection so therefore I could get connected to my network and reach out to my help desk for help. Here at Persistent, we use the Cisco VPN client. But what if we found our way into the registry and decided to do some damage in the registry? We'll look at the HKEY local machine, into software, Cisco systems, VPN client. What I'll do is I'll delete the entire VPN client key and all of its sub keys. And we will say yes. And then we'll see how VPN like that modification. Of course, when you make these type of modifications within the registry, it generally has a negative impact on that application, right? So where we'll go next is we'll get into documents and settings, all users desktop, and I will make some adjustments. I'll delete all of my shortcuts like so. So not only have I affected my work environment, but I've also affected those that will be using this computer when I finish. And that's really something to consider because end users have a high expectation that their workstation is going to work every time they come onto their machine. And if they're, they're missing a core application or a shortcut to one of their core applications, as far as they're concerned, their workstation is broken and they'll find themselves reaching out to their help desk. So I will close that. Our Cisco VPN is still trying to find its way. Let's work our way to the root of C, and I'll also begin to delete some of these key boot files. The NT loader and the NT detect, as we all know, are very important to the OS to load. And I'm going to go ahead and delete those two. In addition to that, I'm also going to modify my boot to INI file. You know, I read somewhere in a PC magazine that if I really wanted to improve the speed in which my computer would boot, if I just modified that bottom string of information, my computer will boot up in a lightning speed. So we'll go ahead and save and exit that. And exit that. And here's our Cisco VPN error. I'll get out of there. So all fun and aside, I've just created myself a nice size paperweight. The best way to get my machine back online would be for me to re-image my machine. But not to worry, we have persistent software installed and a simple reboot is all we need. So I'm gonna to go to start and shut down, restart. Now this process happens on or off the network in 30 seconds or less. Okay, we are pre-booted the OS, so we're not concerned about a healthy operating system either. The repair is high speed because it is focused on only those files that have been changed or deleted. In fact, Persistent is the only file level repair software on the market. So with Persistent's automated file level repair, you never need to worry about the integrity of your user's data or personal settings. As I mentioned before, we are pre-booted the operating system, so what you will see is you'll see the BIOS splash screen come up, a couple flickers in between there, and then you'll see the persistent software screen come up. And on the bottom right-hand side of the screen, we'll see perform and repair. Again, we do file level repair, so we're only going to fix those files that are out of compliance. So if we look on the bottom of our screen here, it says perform and repair. We're doing a real-time comparison and finding that we had 54 files that are no longer in compliance. So we're gonna fix just those 54 files and then we'll hand it over to the operating system to load in a healthy state. So when you see the Windows splash screen, that indicates that persistent software has finished its task. The machine is back to a healthy state as now it's just a matter of the operating system loading for us. So we'll give this just a moment and I'll log back in for us. This is generally when I get a lot of questions about, okay, Tom, I understand that we can go through these adjustments, uh, but what if I need to remove something that's authorized or add something that's authorized? Do I need to re-image my machine altogether? The answer to that question is no. We do provide you with capabilities so that you can schedule a task or simply do it on the fly. 
plus all these recovery points that we're talking about that are being repaired, they're also available for auditing so that you can see what has taken place in your environment. So the first thing to notice is our machine, of course, is back online, and therefore our boot files have been modified back to our desired state. Also notice that our shortcuts have been restored. Let's double click on our VPN to see how Persistent handled that for us. A little registry entry. Give that just a second to load. Okay. And you'll see that our VPN is working just fine. Okay, and I'll go ahead and minimize that. Then, of course, we began some of the destruction with by, by renaming our PowerPoint executable, and you'll find that our PowerPoint also will come up for us without a problem. And you have to admit, that is pretty impressive. 30 seconds or less, and our machine is back and operational in less time than it would have taken me to call the help desk for help. Because this workstation is a persistent PC, all damage is under control.